Hey everybody, it's Roleplay. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Happy middle of the week. Uh, I hope everyone's had a good week so far. And I hope everyone's had a good Wednesday. And a good Tuesday. So... Uh, the big news for on my end for today, um, as I said on my Twitter, I did get the first vaccine shot today. So the one I got was a uh, Pfizer, and I got it earlier. I got it earlier this morning. Uh, the vaccine itself didn't go too bad. Basically, I just um, basically it was a just come to the clinic, uh, get myself registered, and then I got the shot. And overall, it, it hasn't been too bad. My upper arm they shot me they gave administered the shot in my my left arm and it's been pretty so it's been sore all day the best way i can describe it is that it feels like um it feels like a light bruise like it kind of it hurts to move but it's not like debilitating let me put it that way like i can still move my shoulder move my arm a bit but it does feel a little tender so right now it's a uh, righty my right arm and that's got to do most of the work which is good because I'm right hand dominant. But other than that, today um, today's been fine. Like I haven't felt any adverse side effects. I'm aware from my friends, my coworkers, and just uh, reading up that I am expecting side effects. But for the time being, um, I'm holding up okay. And the soreness in my left arm that is an expected side effect. So. It's consistent with what everyone's told me. It's consistent with what some of the experiences of my other friends. And all in all, I'm doing all right. I did hear from my boss, actually. He said that apparently one of his side effects that he got is a couple of days after his vaccination, he starts to get a rash. I did read that redness is a side effect, but it was interesting to hear that this did not come up until several days later. And I think from what I hear, in general, several friends of mine have noted that they've been feeling kind of tired and fatigued. I haven't felt that yet. I haven't felt that, but I kind of think that's going to happen to me sooner or later. And this is only the first shot, so... General consensus I've been hearing is second shot is much worse. The second shot is where you're really going to start feeling it. But in the meantime, as always... Hey everybody, my name is Roleplay. I'm a chill variety streamer, and everyone, welcome to the stream. Please come in, please make yourselves comfortable, and we'll get started shortly. In fact, let's say, um, if not in five minutes, it'll be ten. So, other than that, uh, my day's been alright. I made beef stew on Monday, and my brother and I, I think we finished off the leftovers over the next, over the past two days, and it was pretty good. I've made some, I've got a portion for my mom and dad as well, so I'm hoping I can give that to them uh, next chance I see them. And beyond that, um, I, I'm trying to make it a habit, actually, to try to do some sketching every night. Like, maybe like 30 minutes, like 10, 20, 30 minutes, like just sketch out whatever's on my mind and honestly what I've been doing is I just pull up some reference pictures I have of like several characters including Miriam, Shantae, Roll, um, some Fire Emblem girls and just like okay let me just try to sketch out their uh, their heads and their how their hairstyle is and I've been enjoying it and what's cooler is that like I said I I feel good about what I'm drawing well sketching let's be clear here it's sketching I am finding I'm not good with details, but it has been helping like get the general shape of it, and but it feels nice knowing that. Um, initially, I always hated drawing hair, especially at the start. I hated drawing hair because it looked weird or felt awkward to me. Now though, it's like no, I, I think I get it. I, I think I understand how I want to draw hair now, and it's pretty fun. Ponytails especially are fun for me to draw, so just uh, gonna continue refining that if I can. On the Unity side of things, um, I've got moving platform code up. I made it a little bit more robust. It's still in a very testing kind of phase, but I've also made an update where I moved some of my uh, character controller code into my collision handler code. So the reason I did that is because I want to try to consolidate the code that I have like in a particular in a within the appropriate files. 
In particular, I had some Raycast and Collision Checko going on in my character controller. And since I already made a like a character collision handler, like it's a file specifically for the character so they can handle collisions. I I decided like I want to integrate what I had in the character controller into there. So that's kind of what that was. And overall, the past couple of days haven't been too bad. I am kind of hoping that this vaccine doesn't uh, doesn't hamper me too much. I'm not sure what's going to happen because I've definitely heard varying stories about it, but we'll see how things go. Overall, I don't feel too bad about it. I wasn't sure what shot I was going to get, by the way. All I knew was that I signed up for a two shot, but they didn't specify whether it's Spicer or Moderna. So, turned out by luck of the draw, I got me Pfizer. Not that I'm complaining, not that I have any preference, but like, okay, Pfizer it is. That's cool. And in the meantime, um, not much else. The thing I will say, folks, is I'm going to say, like, depending on how I feel over the next couple of days, I'll let you all know if I'm streaming or not. In addition, I've been kind of thinking, like, what other games I want to play after Sakuna. Uh, after Sakuna. Uh, Blasphemous, I want to do a replay of it at some point. I want to do a replay of it, so it might be the next up after Sakuna. Then, um, I don't know. Uh, I'll see how I feel from there, like see how I feel about things. Besides some other games I want to revisit and some games I want to try out, there are also some games in my library that I haven't touched, so I wouldn't mind picking it up and like giving a, giving a whirl. Uh, let me think, is there anything else? Oh, um, since I've been talking about everybody just obligatory, if you all can, please get the vaccine. Please get the vaccine. The vaccine will help not just you, but the people around you. By making yourself safe, you can make others you can make others safer. So if you all can, please get the vaccine. I know it's kind of scary hearing about like what the side effects are, what could happen to you, and things like that. Like, I get it. Like I, I absolutely understand that, and I'm kind of worried about it too. I know my father is worried because um, if he's uh, if he's not doing well, then um, he can't really help out our mom, help out my mom. But nevertheless, like for the sake of yourself, your family, your friends, and the people that are close to you, and yourself, please get the vaccine. The side effects, I the side effects, are worth bearing if you have it, to avoid getting others sick, and to avoid getting yourself sick. And honestly, and actually, with that, everybody, let's jump right in. I'll admit, I'm also a little, um, I do feel a little bit tired. So this might be a shorter stream tonight, but we'll see, folks. In the meantime, it'll be more, in, in the meantime, everyone, let's continue reaping some rice and making some ruin. Let's go to Sakuna, rice and ruin. Oh, whoops, sorry about that, folks. As an aside, since I mentioned it, besides this, ooh, ooh, okay, okay, hang on, hang on. Okay, that's that's my left arm. That's my left arm. I was stretching it to grab my controller, so that was kind of a a little painful there. Like I said, unfortunately, my left arm is still a little tender. So the only other thing that I've kind of noticed is my left arm and my my left hand actually it does feel a little stiff. It's not bad. It's not like really bad kind of stiff, but. I do feel something. I could have sworn that was loud. Hold up, folks. Let me see. Make that louder. Hmm. Guess not. All right. Anyway, let's go to Sakuna, everybody. Let's see what will happen tonight. So with Talamon out of commission, I am aware that we're kind of on our own for the rice making, but I think we'll be okay. I generally remember what to do, so I think we'll be all right. All right, let me see how volume is and then we'll go from there. All right, should be okay. Horse tail. 
rice is still seedlings. Hurry and take root. Ah, we can also just check this. Right, right, okay. So we got options. We got options. How are we doing on water? 13? Fertilizer pit is empty. All right, we'll do it. We'll do it tonight. Like we filled out a fertilizer. Let's see. Is there any other fauna or anything that we can collect? Oh, something. Oh, it's just a pl oh a plum. Okay, plum's fine. Probably fermented or something, I guess. Alright. Let me make sure first. We'll take the Autumn Hunter's Garment. Vitality by Summer. We good. Let's go. Oh, we can't dispatch anybody. That's fine. That's all right. The Valley of Elusive Water. The intertwining waterfalls and cliffs from a form a maze of pools to confound travelers. If you search carefully for the path, you might be able to find your way through the labyrinth. Ah, excuse me, folks. I uh, want to take some tea. I'll uh, mute the microphone next time, everybody. Sorry about that. All right, let's go. To the valley. I'll keep an eye on the volume too, cause it see it feels like that my uh, that for whatever reason my cap car kind of screwed around with my volume a little bit. Huh? What's that? Oh. Okay. 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 I see. Got to get back to the swing of things. Okay, we're fine. Ow. Is that it, or we got more buddies? Nope. That's that seems to be everybody. Let's see. Alright, we okay, we okay. Take it. Dude, the Valley of Elusive Water, eh? Alright. The water physics here is a little bit weird, so I want to be careful this time around. Is always good. Let's take the high road. Or the high route. Let's, excuse me, high route. Nope. Okay, okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. I guess. Wait a minute, wait a minute, am I... I'm guessing we gotta go high for the entire time, maybe. Alright. We got something. Fullness powder. Let's swap that out for the whistling mask. That 
back back with the kitsune mask and let's go on so uh oh is it just a fall here oh no no it's okay Yeah, this must have been the, uh... Wait. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, cripes, I don't remember where to go. Uh, let's head back. I'm just using front. I'm just abusing the hell out of my front smash. Like it's my good. It's such a good go-to. Like I don't know what else I can say about it. It's just a really good go-to weapon. A really good go-to move. Oh, I wish I had a map of this place. This is actually pretty big. So that just keeps you down, okay. All right, so that's what I figured. And there are things that like that specifically push you in one direction or the other. Well, all right then. So how does we go down? All right, let me vary. Let me vary my moves a little bit. I'm okay. This is a way out? Oh. We found them. We find ourselves in dire straits indeed. Thankfully, there is food and water nearby, but we cannot hold out for long. Should I risk moving or trust Lady Sakuna to find us? On that night long ago, we all stayed in a cave not unlike this one. Your father was the bandit's leader, but he was a good man. He hated war from the bottom of his heart, and he never stole from the poor. Kaimaru, I am all but certain you saw your father fall to Ishimaru's blade that night. 
I do not know when you will regain your voice, but until then, I will protect you with my life. This is where you were, so-called samurai. Lady Sakuna. Ah, good. I see that Kaimaru is with you. Good gracious. What were you thinking coming all the way to this distant valley? I left high and low for you, you know. Uh, but uh, that is, well. Ah, good old Sundere. I suppose you did well in finding Kaimaru and protecting him for this long. You've saved me some time, if nothing else. I owe you a measure of praise for that. Oh, thank you, my lady. You honor me. Uh, sure. In any case, my debt is now repaid. What? Your debt? Huh? By the way, there's something strange here. It doesn't appear to be a demon, but... I believe it is... A kappa. It appears to be friendly. Ah, kappas. I would venture that Kaimoru followed it here. Hmm. Hmm. I've never seen such a creature. You reek of fish, urchin. You haven't been outside the capital have, at all, have you, Sakuna? <laughs> hey, kiddo. Oh, you're awake. Lady Sakuna has come to our rescue. Yes, Sasa has come to save the day. Now let us return home post haste. I do not recall extending an invitation to you, slime ball. Well, he followed us anyway. <laughs> Whoa, it's huge! So cute! Aw, oh, you ate. So, follow me after all. Sasa! <laughs> he says the Kappa has friends. They were captured by a demon at the lake in the valley, and he wants you to help them. Is that why you went off on your own? How many times have I told you that it's dangerous to leave here? Sasa! Oh, interesting. So Kamaru can understand demons. You don't like it when people ask you to do things, so he didn't want to bother you. <laughs> this kid is more perceptive than he looks. Aww. Children are quite observant. Ain't that the truth? <sighs> the Kappa says that if you save its friends, it'll return the favor. You can understand it, Yui? Uh... No, I can't. I just kind of felt like that might be what it was trying to say. The veracity of that claim is suspect. What will you do, Princess? Even disregarding the Kappa's request, it may be in your best interest to appease Kaimaru. Tama's wise. He knows all the dimensions to this. Well, since we found Toemon, that's good. We can get, we can we'll have better track of what to do with the rice. And hey, dragon, good to see you. Welcome to the stream. I hope all is good. Uh, any movies I'm looking forward to this year? Ah, uh, I'll be honest, I haven't really been watching a lot of movies lately. Like, there isn't really anything I'm too interested in nowadays. There, honestly, what is that? Enchantment true to encounter and The stocks have begun multiplying. Offshoot season is here. Alright, so what is offshoot season again? Also it's kinda of, It's like it's kinda of drained by a lot. But yeah, um no no movies I'm really interested in nowadays. Like nothing in particular I'm really looking forward to. 
Hey, Tom. Alright. Enough water to submerge your ankle should be fine. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at the rice again. Here we go! Spring yields. Oh, sort the rice lightly. Okay, so the seas thickly. Oh, really? Nice, dragon. I, I hope you enjoy Fast and... That's Fast and Furious 9, right? I, I hope you enjoy it. I don't know, but for me personally, I don't know. There have been a lot of movies I've been too keen on lately. Just real quick, I think the last movie I saw... I think it was with a friend of mine and we went to see Parasite, which I really, really enjoyed. But... I hadn't heard about it or really knew about it before he mentioned it. Okay, so sort the seeds. So, all right, so spring yield is like that. Um, that's about it so far. In that case, let's. Um... Hey, what's up? Ah, oh, the goyangi. Hmm. A cat. Yep. Yeah, a kitty cat. Sit. Say, Kaimaru, you do understand that we're living day to day here, yes? That our future remains utterly uncertain? We simply do not have the means to care for a useless cat. Aww. Yeah. It might be a good job. It might do a good job catching pesky mice in the storehouse. Mm. Mice, you say? I have not seen any in the past, but. I if it can make itself useful, then I shall allow it. Even I can see the merit in having another tool at our disposal. Ah. <laughs> <clears throat> Consider yourself fortunate, cat. From now on, you will earn your keep. Yay! <laughs> Good for you, goddess. Now listen here, whelp. Alright. A cat now lives in the past. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's get some more water. And let's get some fertilizer, too. The same old day to day. Okay. Oh, I don't have a lot. Well, alright then. just means we need to add a... Hmm. Let's add some rice bran and... a little vinegar. Increases the yield pretty significantly. Oh, demonic pearls don't do anything. <laughs> of course they don't. <laughs> I was just curious on that bit. Uh, oh, actually I'm just out of components, alright. Alright. That is our fertilizer for tonight. So, why don't we go... Let's find some more materials. The bubbling sandbar. Uh, where is a good place? You know what, let's just go to the grotto. Okay. Do some gathering. Good stuff. Let's go home. Oh, it's like midnight. Mm -hmm. 
I didn't realize it was that late. It's almost summer too. Stocks have begun multiplying. Offshoot season is here. The stocks have begun okay, same thing as before. Offshoot season is here. All right, cool, cool. Uh, let's have a really late dinner tonight. I make something. Rabbit meat. Ooh, sushi. Let's do rabbit meat. Let's see. Cook white rice sounds good. Let's have that along with some root crops and a side dish of. Sure, let's do blanched. And you know what? Uh, actually, no. I think this is good. Let's eat. Time for dinner. Say, Tama, how did my father and mother meet on this island? Oh, ho, ho, so you are finally showing interest in the story of their romance. Is it that astonishing? You may have forgotten, but I too am a blossoming maiden. I do give thought to matters of the heart from time to time. And if it regards my parents, I have all the more reason to wonder. <sighs> How dare you mock me! You're talking about your mom, Pa? I want here too. It is a long tale. I will start at the beginning. Long ago, this island was mostly inhabited not by demons, but by the Ashigumo tribe. I have heard that they prefer not to live in groups, but rather excel at making a living as individuals. Yet even so, one day, a terrible disease began to spread. For the Ashigumo, it was an unmitigated disaster. One after another, they fell. Then Lady Toyohana appeared, along with this house. So Lady Sakuna's mother brought not only herself from the lowly realm, but this house as well. The power hidden within my divine raiment is incalculable indeed. At first, the Ashigumo were wary of her, and even tried to kill her. But Lady Toyohana paid their suspicions no heed, and instead began to care for them. A medicine she infused into the water from this past worked like a miracle. The Ashigumo swiftly overcame their predicament. Owing a great debt to her, the Ashigumo appointed her as their princess and vowed to aid her throughout her life here. Huh. 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 Wait, is that all? You have not so much as touched upon the topic at hand. I told you, it is a long tale. I will continue it some other time. What? Aw, <laughs> oh, that's no way to end the tale, Tama. Ooh. I might need to start balancing what I'm gonna do every, um, every day. Eldritch... Eldritch Enfeeblement. First offshoots. Okay, so we gotta drain it now, right? Alright. Alright, I guess we're good here for now. I gotta pull out these weeds. How are we doing the water so far? 15%? Alright, let's. Oh, wrong one, wrong one. I'm gonna drain this a little bit because it's raining right now. That should be good. 
All right. I've got a bunch of pearls, so what can I do with this? When Kita goes out gathering, he only ever picks up stones and ore. <laughs> to be fair, I've got an eye for plants myself. Meredith focuses on food, and Kaimu goes for fertilizer. Tarmon's the only one who really tries to come back with a mix of things. Should I make something, goddess? Interesting, okay. Alright, so we got only hats so far. Hmm. Increases HP by 10% and has a strength by. Uh, excuse me, folks, just a moment. Alright, so let's see. Oh, this is a... Okay, hang on, let me see. You know what? Let's uh, go for Scale Hunter. I got it! Give me some space till it's done. Alright, so what I'm also getting from this is we'll get different types of... Uh... Each person has a different specialty for what they're going to bring back. Makes sense. It, it makes sense, too. I don't know if it's from using demonic materials or what, but my weapon's got strange powers. You can master him being a goddess, yeah? Want me to make something? Ooh, Jade. Oh, those power boosts. Those are some ridiculous power boosts. I need to collect more materials for this. That stuff looks really, really good. Kaimaru brings back fertilizer, he brings back stones, food. Okay, uh... Uh, Mirtha, get some food. I go now. Alright, so let's see. I guess we'll continue on here. Bubbling sandbar. Explore objective achieved. Explore with keen eye effect. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, this is kind of, uh, interesting. Giant sea turtle. Okay, okay. We learn it. We learn it, this thing. Turtle meat. I've never had a turtle before. I wonder what that tastes like. Since I brought it up, actually, so that I mentioned it, 
Folks, if you are interested, Parasite was a good movie. I enjoyed it. More Jade. What was that? Scroll for Nightfall, okay. Alright, moving on. I seem to have glitched one of the clams. Fish and clams. I hate these gigantic water bubbles. What is that? Oh, it's a deer. Using here, but we're good. We're all right. Uh, you know what? Let's see. What else can we do? Boiling rage. Wild top. Hmm. Swallow slice. What the common direction you choose with your one hand to. All right, I might have to play around. Let's play around with these uh, techniques a little bit more. Oh, fullness is low.
I kind of hate this turtle, especially with this gigantic water bubble here. Oh, so that's like a counterattack. Got it, got it. Okay. Recover. Recover health. Oh. That's fine. Oh. That's fine. Mission complete. So we still got some more stuff that we need to do around here, all right. We still got some exploration to do, that's what I'm getting from that. In the meantime, though, let's see. Where's some good places to get food? You know what, let's go back here. We can find a whole lot of food here, so why not? Bamboo Hunter... Automo Hunter, here we are. I'm gonna be a little careful. Something I'm trying to work on, too, is I'm not going to try to spam my moves too much. Alright. Oh, oh, that hurt. That hurt pretty bad. Uh, some pretty heavy stuff there. Let's see. I saw that bomb. Alright, should probably head back home soon. Let's go. Alright, Murray should be back with some food. Back. Wheat. Six beans. Wow, Murray. Third offshoot. 
Alright, so I think this is where we should probably drain a little bit. Oh. So many weeds! Let's do that. Oh, this field looks beautiful, honestly. Okay. All right, let's get some fertilizer. Oh, it's spring? I thought it was summer. Alright. Let's add some additional components. You know what, let's add the revitalizing remedy. Not a lot of spare meat, so... Oh, it acts as an herbicide. Oh, that's cool. All right. Ah, uh, sure. We'll try this for now. All right. Hey. Make something? We got we still got plenty of tofu guys, some oil left. Let's keep making those soup stock. The fish is good for that, okay. Eat something? Hurt on me. Wait, wait, wait. Let us have a feast. I give my gratitude for this meal. Shall I continue my tale? Yay. I waited. At least address my question this time. Around the time Lady Toyohana was exalted by the Ashigumo as her princess, my master, Lord Takaribi, was expelled from the capital. What? Did my fl father blow up the garner as well? He had a great quarrel with the previous Lady Kamohitsuki. It was an uproar and meant enough to overturn the capital. Whoa. Lord Takaribi wandered from land to land, eventually arriving here at Hinoe Island. The Ashigumo tribe was in the habit of eliminating all outsiders, but in the face of the mightiest war god, they could do nothing. As he shrugged off their attacks, he realized that they seemed to be guarding a princess. He was curious what a furry-faced Ashigumo princess might look like. Ahem. <clears throat> Apparently Takaribi was a furry. And so he headed to this very pass, intending to have a good laugh at their meeting. <laughs> I like this guy. My father was impulsive indeed. 
As he tossed one Ashigumo after another out of his way, he finally arrived at the pass. But as soon as he laid eyes on Lady Toyohana, right here in this house, he froze. That is how breathtaking Lady Toyohana's beauty was. For her part, Lady Toyohana was similarly taken aback. They stood there for what seemed like an eternity, staring in awe at one another. Get him, tiger. Ah, so wonderful. It was love at first sight. Uh. <laughs> However, they cannot reveal what was blossoming in their hearts. As an excuse to remain here, Lord Tagaripi began exterminating demons. A useless effort in everyone's eyes. Uh, how awkward can one man be? I think it's cute. It was around that time when the disorienting spell began to enchant this pass. The days passed peacefully for a time. Summer faded and the mountain was dappled in splendid shades of red and yellow. And that is when it appeared in the northern valley. I will resume the story from here another day. <sighs> Once again, you fail to cut to the heart of what I had actually hoped to hear. Ah, oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Alright, we got some spoilage. That's fine. If I recall, when there are too many stops, it diminishes the yield. So right, that's... I should let out some water. Spread the fertilizer. The officers are just about done growing. Alright. So we're in the drainage phase. Let's see what the summer yield said again. No. Oh. It does not have a certain charm to it. What charm could it possibly possess? Plenty. Though if continues too long, unabated, the rice may become diseased. A moderate amount of rain would be preferable. Is that so? In that case, shall I ask Lady Kamuhitsuki to halt the rain? Whoa. What? Lady Kamuhitsuki has control over the weather? <laughs> Naturally. Lady Kamuhitsuki is the tree of creation itself, who created the two realms and rule rules over Yonato. But changing the weather appears to require considerable effort. We must make a sufficient offering of amber along with our request. Mm -hmm. I see. So you must offer a prayer, and that cannot be done irreverse irresponsibly. I'll be off then. From now on, let us decide whether or not to change the weather during the agricultural assembly. Mm -hmm. Great minds think alike. Here we go. <sighs> okay, that is interesting. That is interesting. Uh, just a moment, folks. I'm gonna grab a. I'll grab something up. I'll grab something real quick. It's a little chilly here. Hey, I'll just grab the light jacket real quick. Oh, even though it's not terrible, it does kind of hurt to like move my, try to lift my left arm, so, or stretch it, or strain it in any way. Ow, ow. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Weather. Rice will be damaged if either sunny or rainy days continue on for too long, but a prayer and offering of amber to Lady Kamuhitsuki can change the weather. Human day-to-day -day weather in mind is essential to growing superior rice. Interesting, okay. Reviling remedies help weaken rice. Reducing remedies, cure of excess. Okay, that's interesting. Wait, wait, wait. Kernel fertilizer. Alright, dehydrate the plants in midsummer. After the ear sprout, apply leaf fertilizer. If I recall, when there are too many stops, it diminishes 
matches the yield. Perhaps I should let out some water. All right, so kernel fertilizer, eh? Hmm. UA. Oh. What is the matter? Did you drop something in the river, UA? Uh, what is she up to now? Alright, hold up. Uh, we don't have a lot for uh, fertilizer right now. Cripes. I guess we'll come back for it. So, I guess uh, we'll go hunting and look for some extra stuff. Okay, picks up stones and ore, plants. Should I make something, goddess? Got it, got it, okay. I'm currently thinking about what to do for fertilizer. But for right now... Ooh, that's kind of weird. Let's see... Uh, let's go send Yue off this time. Get, oh, oh! I didn't see that. Oh, that list is actually really nice. You know, let's go here. I want to go. I want to go hunting for some big meat for some big game. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about all this now. It's okay. It's okay.
to the next area. Oh, okay. We good, we good. Alright. Ever onward. Alright, we get we get Come on. Up and over. Pretty good, pretty good stuff, I think. I do believe I'm overpowered. Naturally, as the goddess of rice and ruin, good rice helps a lot. food items that's gonna be good for like fertilizer and of course just dinner Sedge and Beast Tube. Okay. We good, we good. We very good.
I should probably be getting ready to head back soon. All right, hunger's fine, hunger's fine. Okay, all right, all right. All right, Bastard Bambi, we got, we got, we got to talk, we got to talk. Give me that meat. Copper ore, copper ore is good. Ridiculous number of stuff there, but we got through all of that. The depths of the force of supplication. This is where he fought the Camellia Toad. Okay, we can't grab onto the stone there. And we can't go any further. While we're here, why don't we go... Let's get some food here, then we're gonna head back. Very late night dinner. Back. Are those things spoiling because I'm while I'm out, or are they spoiling just in general? Huh. The offshoots have stopped growing, so perhaps I should add in some water. Let's get some fertilizer. Before we have dinner, let's get fertilizer. Really, really late night dinners. see. 
Oh, we still got plenty of meat here. Okay, uh... Venison, boar... We'll use this as our component. Oh, what a lovely sight! All right, a whole lot of water. They said too. The ears have appeared. All right, getting ourselves a lot of water for this part. Excuse me, folks. Sorry about that. All right, that should be good. Oh, it, oh, it's super late. I make something. Eat something. Try roasted venison. And you know what? Let's uh how about some roast rabbits? Wheat so sweet. Let's eat. By the way, Tama, you're no doubt aware these shiny stones called Amber fly to demons when I defeat them. What of the two realms are they? Amber is fossilized spiritual energy that has been accumulated by the Tree of Creation. Its form changes depending on the density of spiritual energy accrued, and can range from fragments to Magatama jewels and large orbs. Ah, so that explains their shape. Additionally, because amber is crystallized, it's crystallization of divine power, you can increase your own strength by gathering it. This is all in addition to it being used as capital, currency, in the capital. Huh. Furthermore, there exists a counterpart to amber known as a spirit bow. It is also a cluster of spiritual energy, but it does not crystallize or otherwise take shape. Indeed, it has the ability to reside in objects. If you manage to obtain any, It'll be wise to infuse them into your equipment. Oh, so that's how it is. Okay. Hmm. Amber, huh? I cannot eat another I'm bite stuck. for that. Yes. What a feast. Oh, Here we happiness is a full belly. Quinta's got something planned. His mind is, uh, his, his mind's ticking. Oh, we might need to make a prayer. Yeah, yeah. Some lonely ears have appeared. I cannot wait for the harvest. Let's make a prayer, folks. It's raining. It's still raining. Here we go. I accept. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> But it's still raining. It's still raining, though.
Oh man, I gotta find more amber then. Hashiguma was telling me all about elemental materials. Probably says says you gotta go looking for them at night. There should be earth element materials around these parts, and wood element stuff in the forest. Scrounge up enough and I ought to be able to make some new weapons. Want me to make something? Give me that beautiful thing. Leave it to me. Alright, just we need shade and hemp. Oh, this looks like it's going to be able to do a lot of damage. In the meantime... Uh... Let's send Kaimaru this time. The Bubbling Sandbar. Let's check that again. Let's see if we can find our way out of here. Turtle me get, we good. Let's go this way. Ooh. Health flakes. Ooh, that's worrisome. Ow. For that one of for one of many reasons. Get off me! Spring water. Nice, 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 nice. Alright, this is the innermost area. Let me see what's up here. Oh, just this. Follow me up here, did you? Alright, 
We good. Guess we gotta just fight these things. That's how we beat the turtle. Actually, we gotta we gotta knock we gotta knock we gotta knock them into it. I hate this water thing. Where am I? Okay, heal, heal, please. So innermost areas taken care of. So now what? Nothing up here. Raise exploration level to find the headwaters. Okay. It's alright, it's alright. We are okay. This little indicator is pointing me. Alright, if I had to guess, it's probably down. It's probably down below. Uh. 
Okay. Okay. I see. Sakuna, I have request. Hmm? Hmm? What is it? Please. Please gather the children. I want to say something. Hmm. She's picking up from where she left off before, right? Involving me might just make everything worse. But she has some secret plan this time. Fine. Fine. I shall do as you ask. Ow. Ah? Why must I stick around for this lecture too? If you would, to s to set a good example for the children. <sighs> I am an adult, you hear? I shall only linger as long as it suits me. Sorry. Before I make you listen to things not want to hear, I am sorry. But only sometimes is enough. I won't teach you study. I have thought since then. If this continue, I hate it more, maybe. But it much, much better for you to gain power to live. Okay. So in exchange, I promise. I meet each time very interesting. And as Kinta say, I also study your Nato language. Uh, hmm. Do you not think that receiving a free education is a blessing for children like you? And from an overseas scholar, no less. Quite a rare opportunity, I would say. Yeah, I guess you're right. Then it is settled. Meredith promises make it interesting, so approach your lessons with open minds, and perhaps you will be surprised. Hmm, if the goddess says so. Yeah, yeah. Wee wee! Oh. Ah, fine. Splendid work, princess. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, right! Alright, Meredith, have at it. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Now we start with 17 horses. Oh. A riddle, hmm? This is a chance to flaunt my superior intellect. Huh. Yeah, I'd like to see you try. <laughs> Just you watch. I'll teach you not to underestimate an avid reader. Yep. This is fun. I teach Kaimaru more simple thing later. Yeah. Hi. Long, long ago, a king had three children. What did you just I, say? I cannot accept this. That cannot be the answer. <laughs> Guess you're not so good at this, goddess. <laughs> uh, your allies have returned, okay. Excellent. Oh, what a lovely sight! Oh, man, we got a lot of these growing now. And they're harder to see, too. Fertilizer. That's kernel fertilizer. That's root fertilizer. Which of these will be helpful for our leaf fertilizer? Deer antler could be something. Not the pearl. Not the pheasant feather. I doubt any of the meat. Ooh, beans actually.
Okay. Let's see what else we got. We'll hold off on the spring water for now. Good amount of sedge. Up with that cork branch. Let's try this. This will be for tomorrow. lot of work for this when uh, winter comes around. And folks, I'm thinking I might call this a short stream for tonight. So we're going to wait for the next year and then we're going to move on. In the meantime, our goddess, our godly powers continues to grow. I make something? So that's what the fish oil can be for. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. Eat something? Uh, dry bowl of rice for tonight. Let's keep it simple. And let's have another side dish of... Let's do turtle meat. Yanata people, lofty realm is Hamel paradise, Saint. Hmm? Everything I've seen here differs from the teachings of enlightenment or Shinto. Almost also different, of course. I'm sure the gospel belief in the West is also different. Yet while the interpretations may vary, it seems each teaching has consistencies regarding the lofty realm. An extraordinarily large tree created this world and salvation lies within its bows. According to Formos' teaching, Sakuna and Tama are not gods. Brr. What? But my divinity is self-professed. Call self God does not make God. If I human but say I God, then what? She has a point there. Uh, I suppose you have a point. I know you amazing, but I think different from God. Sakuna probably... Angel. A angel? But, but I'm a goddess! A goddess, you hear? I should be a goddess. No. Am I not? Oh, Murray, you gave her an existential you gave her an existential crisis. Princess, get a hold of yourself. Murtha, it is said that every religion believes in the tree of creation, yes? Then that confirms the divinity of Lady Kamohitsuki, the tree of creation itself. Then Kamohitsuki, not God, but Archangel? Such impertinence! Do not expect me to turn a deaf ear to such questions, however innocent. Hmm? Indeed, Mirth that pressing the matter will not accomplish anything. Why do you avoid talk? I, I not understand. I don't get it either. Is it cause she's making a sense and she's making sense and you don't like questioning stuff? Now, now. Whatever we believe, we have no choice but accept what we see before us now as truth. Everyone is confused. You need not rush to a conclusion, Mirtha. I understand. Oh, dang, yeah. 
I, I can understand both sides of this. Oof. I mean, Mirthe is... Mirthe is, is explaining based on her understanding of Formos. And she's unknowingly... St and she is... Like, even though she's asking, like, what our interpretation would be, she's also stepping on the toes of what uh, the people Yonato believe in. So, yeah. And Taimon is just like, hey, um, now is not a good time for this. And Kinta's, Kinta's kind of right, too. It was yes. Best it was drop the topic. <laughs> Uh, fertilizer has been completed. All right. Oh, four weeds. The offshoots have stopped growing, so perhaps I should add in some water. Oh, what a lovely sight! Weeding insects. Uh, we're not going to harvest yet. We're not going to harvest just yet. Not yet. Once ripe, dry them as much as possible for arms. For not too long, but not too short either. Alright, so I say we'll give it one more day. Or, uh, maybe we should do it now. It's the end of summer, so... Yeah, you know what, folks? Uh, we're, gonna har we're gonna harvest that now. My left arm, my left arm, definitely, uh, it's hurting quite a bit. Mm. Uh, just a moment, folks. Ooh, my arm, my arm, mm. Water's drained. Let's reap. Let's reap us some rice. Shall I harvest them? Hang on. All right. What's the instinct? Uh, what's the weeding instinct? Uh, let me see every last weed in the field. <laughs> you cannot escape me, you pesky plants. I haven't saved in a while either. Ooh. Also, I realize that I think I have a mass that will help me with uh, with harvesting. I should have put that on before I did this. Oh, it's okay. I gotta learn to slow down and take a look at what I have before I do anything next time. I really gotta learn that. Being this impatient is going to get me, is going to hurt me one day. Okay.
Gale of the Harvester. Harvesting the rice smorks with I am living proof that may practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. A motto to live by. Ooh, I really wish I could use some like whirlwind slash here though as a link. <laughs> sworn. Oh, never mind. Oh, no, this is it. The Sedge Hat. Okay. Get XP game from farm work, so we're gonna keep this on then. Time to dry these up. Actually. Ah, double layered. to finish the harvest in time. After the rice is dried, it must be threshed. But using the kokibashi is such a pain. If I thresh too quickly, the husk will not be fully removed. But doing it fastidiously take eons. Mm -hmm. I was never very skilled at it myself. That's why I would first take off the husks and later remove the extra leaves and stalks that were cut with them. What? Oh, is it easier that way? Why did you not teach me this sooner? Never. Well, it may be easier, but... Huh? If you're fine with doing it that way, then why not just make a tool that speeds up the process? Oh, do you have an idea for such a tool? Right on. Yep. I don't know how well it'll turn out, but I'll give it a shot. I'll give you a materialist, so get to gathering. Mm -hmm. If it will lighten my workload, I shall spare no effort. All right. The Hand Thresher. Wood and high quality oak. Oh, we got that. We got that job. We got that stuff. Oh, it's nightfall though. It's all right. We got that stuff. Make something? Eat something? Let's have another side of. Ooh, just fried stuff. Okay. Let's blanch it. Uh, we'll just do this for now. Really 
Mirtha, would you tell us about your hometown? Oh, I would like to hear about it as well. I adore exotic tales. Right, Tama? Yes, I would also enjoy that. Yeah, I happy. My home, Ventania, called Harbor Country. In harbor, many large ships, also many kinds of fish. Fish meat so good. I raised in monastery by ocean. I love read many books that come to harbor. Ah, so that is where your vast knowledge stems from. So you were also an avid reader, Mirthe. I have my I myself have been known to read. We ain't talking about you. You must not change the subject. So inflexible. Can I not indulge just a little? Venetia, Ventania Yanato, very different. Yanato have many forests and mountains, but Ventania have many wetland. It best. Pig building made with stone. Castle and church bigger than Yanato building. A giant stone castle. Does a shogun live there? Greatest in Venatia is not shogun, but king, called Hertog. But Ventania, one part of bigger, one part of bigger country, empire. Sorry, I thought that was Tama for a second. Greatest in empire is Kaiser. He in different country. I got no clue what she's saying anymore. I suppose some other words are difficult to translate in other languages. Kaiser, maybe like Yanato Emperor. Is that so? Then this empire thing is similar to Yanato itself. And Ventania can be likened to a feudal domain. In Ventania, winter, river and lake freeze. Slide on top is fun. Everyone love. Even the lakes freeze? That's one crazy winter. Yes, yes. Fascinating. Very intriguing. You, eh? Do you wish to know how the people of Ventania adorned themselves? Yeah, I do. Who cares about that stuff? A hammer-swinging dullard like you will never understand a maiden's heart. What'd you call me? <laughs> In Ventania, people wear... Dang, that's quite a, uh, quite a tale there. Also, I feel kind of bad, actually, since uh, Tala called us a, a Sakuna for that about her almost changing the subject. <sighs> I kind of admit, I do that too sometimes with my friends, and like, I don't make, I try not to make it about myself, but I do think I'm guilty of that a little bit. <sighs> I better be more careful about that next time. Anyway, cool stuff. So, meanwhile... Alright, got a lot of spoilage. Should be dry soon. All right. Nope, not yet, not yet. All right, Quinta, you said you can make something? Ooh. Uh -huh. I call it the hand thresher. Why do you get to name it? That's such a dumb name. Good grief. You understand nothing. Its power lies in what it does, not in what it is called. Idiot! Then go stealing my limelight. Commendable work. In any case, you have done great work, Kinta. Lady Sakuna, let us try putting this hand thresher to the test. You can now choose hand thresher with threshing. Okay. Right, right, right. Uh, let's talk. Here we go. Fertilization, water offshoots for.
So I'm going to leave this out for maybe enough for, like, end of the day. It looks plenty dry. Hmm. You know what? Let's move it. Alright. So, why don't we try threshing? Let's try the hand thresher. I shall use the hand thresher. Oh. Nice. That's nice. I like this. cut out for me. Alright. Alright, just keep on threshing. rice this season. That's awesome. Expert Thresher. Empowers me to thresh more rice at once with the Hand Thresher. I must try not to waste kernels. Ooh, that is sig That is a lot more. Okay. with rain. All right, Here we go. One more time. Let's see. Yield. Lay them out to dry for not for not too long, but not too short either. I'm kind of considering if I want to stick around for the next spring season when I plant them, but Honestly, I might call it a night pretty soon, like after the, after I finish up everything here. All right. While we're here, actually, let's uh quickly do this. Let's grab some stuff from here. Right, right, right. Okay, let's go back. mushroom. Yeah, sure. Eat something? 
Uh, fox. Let's do foxtail. Actually, hang on. Cooked foxtail, since we got more oil now. Ooh, we need more meat. Alright, let's just do that. We need to find more meat. It's a little lighter than before, but it'll have to do. Okay. All right. So, why don't we take care of this? So hang on, what do we have? Grow even less tie when using the mortar and pestle to polish rise. Such a dazzling sheen and allows me to polish rise with the mortar and pestle even more quickly. Speed beyond speed. Okay. Furrow sight. Broad furrow. Gale of the digger. Stone crusher. Sorting and raising still new. I might need to take a look at these a little bit more. Sorting and raising. Okay, but we have time, so. Once again, everybody, it's all white rice. Making white rice. No exceptions. I like how much faster this goes now. Such a good song, by the way. Hmm. Yeah, since I'm doing this in autumn, that might mean I'm going to have some time to do some other stuff. Alright. Almost done. How we do. <laughs> this is pretty good. Ooh. Look at that, folks. Year four, 76 rice. That is awesome. Dang. Got so much better. do so much more with the rice now too
Alright. I need to start till besides tilling the field, I might need to work on that later. Well, in the meantime. Got a whole lot of polished rice ready to go. Woo! What say we just relax for the night and just uh eat up? with some of that new 76 bales of rice that we have ready. I make something? Sorry about that, folks. Oh, you know we're having rice, white rice tonight. No questions, like we're having freaking white rice. And we need to go hunting next time. All right. Let's eat. I give my gratitude for this meal. <laughs> I'm glad it turned out good. This is magnificent. You have improved, Mirte. Nice. Mm. Yummy. You can never go wrong with right white rice, folks. Never go wrong with it. It is, for me, it is a staple food ever since I was a baby. And I've loved it ever since. I kind of wish I ate some more white rice while I was at college, but you know, you, you had to eat what you had to eat, so it's all right. But it's hard to say no to white rice. All right. Grasshopper and ginkgo nut, okay. All right. First, let's save real quick. All right, let me see. Oh, we can't do anything with this. All right. Okay. All right. Nothing special. Okay. All right, folks. I think it's going to be a short stream for tonight. We did polish up. We did get the, uh, we did all the husking and polishing of the rice, everything set. And I think we're going to call it a night for tonight. Or, I don't know, let me think. I'm kind of considering if I want to call it a night now or if I want to do something a little bit, uh... We could alternatively, like, play something else casually for a little bit. Hmm. I don't know. I don't really want to call it a night just yet, actually. <sighs> I'm also just thinking um, I probably shouldn't be staying up too late either because of the uh, vaccine I got, but... Uh, sorry, folks. I, I, uh, I'm just thinking. Like, is there anything else I want to play or anything else I want do for a little bit. Well, I suppose uh, real quick, I could try a quick test of something. Yeah, everybody, I think for right now, what we're going to do is we are going to um, close out of uh, Sukuna for right now. Oh, hang on. I'm going to say we're going to take... Uh, I I'm sorry, folks. Let me think.
kind of just wondering if there's anything else I want to play before I call it a night or not. I know Ghosts and Goblins is definitely something, but at the same time, I'm kind of just, uh, I'm not in the mood for it right now. Alright, yeah, and actually, alright. Everybody, I'm gonna call it a night here for tonight. I know it's a shorter stream than my usual streams, but nevertheless, I hope you all enjoyed. So, we are becoming, it's been four years, but we are an amazing rice farmer now. And I'm hoping it continues being better and better, or at least we're stable to that point now. But all in all, it's pretty good. And for right now, with the whole vaccine thing going on, I'm feeling fine. My left arm still is kind of sore, and I expect that it's either going to get better tomorrow, or it's going to stick around for a little bit. My left hand still feels a little stiff, but it's nothing terrible. And overall, the way that I would describe it is that even though I'm saying things like it's sore, there's a little stiffness, it's more akin to my left shoulder, my left arm, it feels like it's lightly bruised. I can still move it. It feels set, it's tender, but I can still move it. And my fingers, while I feel a little bit more resistance, I can still like, I can still, I still have full dexterity with my fingers. Overall, it feels fine. I will keep track of things as the days go on, and if they're on any stream day where I feel like I can't really do anything, I'll let you all know, folks. And once again, everybody, if you all can, please get the vaccine. Please get the vaccine, and please do not hesitate to get the vaccine. Until then, as always, everybody, thank you all very much for stopping by. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all have fun. And everyone, I hope you all have a good week. Please take care of yourselves and please stay safe out there. I plan to be back on Friday with more Sukuna and we will just continue on. We'll see how much more we got. Till then, thank you all very much, everybody. This is Roleplay signing out. Take care, everybody. Stay safe. See ya.